Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. I'm just not logged in and taking a look around. I think I've already harvested everything up to this point, so let's just see what we want to get down on the map today. Um, I'm kind of feeling like doing another main story quest because it's been a little while, feeling a little bit like it's time to rotate stuff, so. Maybe, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Why, why the heck not? Oh, good. This is already at a place that I've been to. We're probably a bit over-leveled for this area anyway, so. Seems a pleasant enough little place. This could be good timing. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Okay, here we go. Since I'm off to pretty used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. This makes me wonder if it's something I'm sorry about earlier. Medical These bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. 
I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Okay. Where is Solomon in? I guess he's outside. Rebellio. Let's see if we got any treasure we should loot. Oh, holy moly. They actually got something I need to pick up. Sebastian, this is my pushing kit, not yours. Leave my things be. And. There's actually something else out there, too. Hmm. Arianne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Oh, we gotta steal your treasure. Revelio. Okay. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Good day. I want to go change some of my look because it was a little distracting when we had a kind of strong appearance and hiding any sense of emotion behind the hat and the eyewear. So. I'm gonna swap those invisible for a bit. And it looks like I have something here. And it was the downgrade. Yep. Okay. Um go from there. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, 
on that plateau is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Uh, let's see, we need to get us a setup that has what it we need stupefy and the pulso. Um there we go. Okay, I guess we're just gonna let them see me. There's one up high. Come on, buddy. Come on, take a shot. Take a shot. Hmm. I think he has an undodgeable or a non particular thing that I can't hit. So. Yeah, I can't get past that. Combos there, but that's okay. We're just having a good time. Oops. This is a pretty wild fight. Oh, darn man. I don't know what it is, but I'm having the hardest time focusing on Protego moments. Oh, missed it. Dang, he fried me with that one. Man, he is thanking me. I need to kill him out. What are you doing? Glacius. Alright. Nope. Rebellion. Oh boy. Man, I am getting some hits on me. There we go. You've made your last mistake. You fight about as well as a pack. I don't think I fought one of these guys before. Oh, shoot. This guy didn't clear off at least one guy. Maybe we'll get a sick combo in there. Oof! It's that fight. I'm really having to focus here. Shield is a little problem. Another one took up a shield. Wild. Seriously, this is like it might be the hardest thing I've done yet. Yeah. Makes sense. Same. Can you know what? It's because I'm not using potions or like anything. No wonder. I should have been using stuff all this time. <laughs> oh man. 
Uh, I was just too excited about spell casting. I didn't think to use my tools. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh well. Maybe this will finally be a lesson learned and I'll stick with it next time. <laughs> oh man, laughing, laughing at myself here. Well, that's too good. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Okay. Revelio. Pickaxe. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. What is this? It's a weapon? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Okay, what else do we had to find? Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Revelio. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Okay. Let's get the money while we're at it. Come on. Here we go. Can't be passing up the loot. Give me the loot. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Hmm. I wonder if I had to go look at the other things for him to start telling him about the memory that we saw in the pensieve. Revelio. Here we go. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. 
you can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Defender! Slice it. Huh, a stairwell. Uh oh, it's gonna be a wacky adventure. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. See, it's the stable snare. Interesting. Haven't seen it in a while, have we? Descender! Lumos! Or if there's actually something back here, I don't think there is, so. Interesting that it's not actually receding that much, too. So my second week in the camp, more arrive each day. The Muggle Dodgers and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. Fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. Beginning to think that others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Oh, hi, Wiz. Is it the cool guy? Hey, yeah, that's you. You're the cool guy. <laughs> Welcome back. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Okay. Isadora's second one. Now, let's see. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Truly, it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course. That would be a fortuitous consequence in doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Doing well, Wiz. How are you? Revelio. Uh, let's see. Lumos. I feel like there's got to be some way out of this. Hmm. Maybe. I don't see anything to light on fire. Well, maybe. Maybe these. Ah, oh, still sick. Incendio. I hope you're getting well soon. Being sick is never fun. Oh. Incendio. Ah, there you go. So we decided to destroy a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I get better soon. That's you're not going to always this. tough. I can well. see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Okay, here we go. 
Hopefully I have enough potion. Just got to remember to use my tools and my potions as I fight enemies. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. Anything helpful in the note? Not really. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Okay. Plot tickets. Revelio. Let's see. What do we have pop up in our gear and stuff? Ah, oh, too bad. Nope, don't think so. Alright. Pretty holding on for dear life until we get more legendary gear. I just don't know if it'll even make sense um, to do elsewise. So, let's see if we can Rebellion. exit soon. Falbatten Castle. After duck. Do not tell anyone. I think I have enough money to do what I need to. I need 3,000, so I still need like 400 more. Um, let's look at our quest first. Oh, we actually have two. We got the high keep and we have astronomy class. Professor Shaw's class is at the top of the astronomy tower. Search for entrance to the room requirement. I should head there now. Oh, we get Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, wait. I've already got that, so. I think that's just another thing. Let's um, let's see this astronomy one. That sounds like it, that could be a fun diversion. I didn't think I would do two main quests tonight, but um, I don't know. I think it, they're kind of making my mind wander a little bit better than just doing, you know, Merlin trials and stuff. I might still do one or two tonight, depending on how long this mission is. But um, you know, we'll see. Some of the lessons like really fast. So, I mean, this literally could be just me showing up and it plays a cutscene and I'm out. Ah! I've been sending out my mother. Trying to keep an eye out for daily and key sounds or 
Seeing on the covers, but I don't see anything yet. Oh, yeah, it's actually time I go to my room of requirement. Let's go ahead and pop in here. It's definitely been enough time to start harvesting everything and then some. I think that we need to probably have time to go plant um, another round of everything and also um, check in on our animals too. Alright, so the maximum potion needs to be used up. There we go. That way we'll get something possibly um, more rare made. So that'll be good. I wish so bad that we could sell some of our plant stuff to one of the shops because it's really frustrating that. Um, Seems like it would be a fair amount of income, you know, it doesn't have to make us rich, but, you know, a steady pace so that we can buy the things we want and get through the economy, you know. Okay, what are we missing potion-wise? Visibility and a focus. Visibility and a focus. I like to use a focus potion. Invisibility and focus. Here we go. Oh, don't have enough. We need to get some Doug Bog. Let's do this one then. It's gonna last a whole minute. So let's go play with the animals for a minute and we'll go pick that up. Okay. to Jabber Null. Okay, it's not ready. Maybe we can hit a toad here. There we go. Alright, cool. Give me the unicorn stuff. So. Oh, good. How are we doing here? Oh, sorry for that, buddy. I think that might be most of them. Ah, the tur- the turtle. <laughs> the purple toad needs to eat. Come on, toad. Get you some food. Oh, I think it is eating, actually. I see the pelts now. Forgot it does the- uh, Tongue animation. All right. Toad warts. School of witchcraft and wizardry. Let's see if we got everything. We did. Kind of want to put the Thestral pair in here for a little bit. But I'm not sure of how much of each thing I already have. So. Hmm. Maybe we'll just keep things as they are for a little bit longer. Oh yeah, we can go collect that potion now. It's definitely been a minute. Here we go. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. 
Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Uh, okay. Turn on the focus. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. All the good that did. How am I supposed to... Revelio. I feel like there's going to be something up here. Yep. Our meat thinks he knows everything. He even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. <laughs> Astronomy telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and stars. Anything else one might find in the night sky. Oh, is this another dialogue? I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shah was talking about. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. Ugh, not how I wanted to spend my evening. I'm really curious if they made the uh, thing that was in the telescope the image accurate because with just like Probably an hour an astronomer could have mapped that out for them perfectly. Oh, hello again. Amit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. Okay. I think I want to go back upstairs. Yep. Okay. I was just kind of wandering around because it's having a good time. There we go.
This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Incendio. Good blue. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. Did it disappear? It did. It's gotta be a glitch, right? I thought that didn't stay there. Weird. Okay, then. <sighs> a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it... Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries Stella and Luna, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Okay. Back to the lower deck. Actually, I think we gotta go this way. Yep. The perfect night for- I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Come on, run, run. <sighs> it is nice Rebellion. having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs. Caged Rata. Sato has been kept behind lock key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that Tubbo is enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. Oh, that's Nothing hilarious. to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as good for you. 
as I expected. Okay. Incendio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? No, oh, everywhere. no. Not this close to Look, school. I mean, there's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Okay, how does this work? Armit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Okay then. So, how do I use the table? Oh, there we go. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're zooming. Okay. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our there star chart. Oh, cool. That's really neat. What a clever little I puzzle. was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Okay. I think we leveled up too. Let's oh. check out our stuff. Hmm. Where are we going to put this talent point? I've only invested three in spells so far. It is a little bit low. Just so many of these are nice. Okay. I think I've already put in enough for dark arts right now. What do we have here? Two magic throw catches and throws as hard enemy weapons. Wig and weld heals better. Maybe may be one of those would be good. That'd be nice, but still kind of situational. I'm thinking one of these shield breaker type things might be good. Well, that sounds pretty overpowered. The duration of the focus potions effect will be extended when any spell from the spell set is cast during its use. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Um, I didn't miss Tentacula one, I was, I think the one that's calling me. Yeah, I want to take this one. The, uh, shield breaking just sounds 
fantastic. So let's look at our, oops, we've completed a challenge. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I guess a new one was revealed or something. It wasn't a completion. I think that UI could be a little bit better. It's a little strange, I think, a little bit backwards when it comes to the notification. Like, I can kind of see why they did it, but I don't know, it still, still feels kind of strange. Smash and Ominous, we're seen arguing in the Great Hall. I should find out what this is about. Okay. Let's go to the map and look for uh, something else to do. Maybe something at Hogsmeade. But I've got just about enough that I could go buy the stuff I don't want. So let's go check it out. And then maybe we'll do another round at the uh, Room of Requirement. We'll harvest everything. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? There's so much that there was a warp point straight inside of some of these stores because uh, I feel like Hogsmeade just needs like two more warp points Take and it can just be great. About. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Oh, I want to be so close. Yeah, not quite there though. Two medium pots, three is just 51 away. Okay. Let me That's know right. if there's anything else I can I knew do. it would happen. All right. Um, what do we want to do? Let's go back to here. There may very well be one here in, uh, inside. Here we go. Here's something. Take the biscuit. I noticed Goblin in the West Bridge talks to me, lamenting about a biscuit. This piqued my curiosity. I should chat with them when I have time. Okay, let's do it. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious mooncalf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your mooncalf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnef. How kind. If only all of Wizard Kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. 
I should try and rescue Garnish's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Okay, let's do it. Oh good, we got a warp like right there on top of it. Sweet. Off on another adventure, are we? All right. Let's see. Hmm. Let me check my gear real quick because it's acting like I have something to equip, but I haven't. Maybe it was. Honestly, I don't know why it was uh, going on about it. Let me just clear these out because maybe this is what it's talking about. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this to start. We'll try to get in a. Petrificus Totalis or two, and I'm gonna do my best to use some of my tools and potions because why not? Poachers, Garnet was right then. I better be careful. All right, well, freeze a poacher, that means we're gonna need Glacius, right? I saw hoof prints in the forest the other day that I swear belonged to a unicorn. Or how many I can get over here? It looks like they're kind of falling into a little bit of a logic trap here. Fascinating. Well, that's half of them, roughly. Kind of feel bad for them when I fight them. But not a whole lot. wonder if this one will be able to see me or not. I'll never get lost, me. Always got me wits about me. You find yourself roaming the lands like a little lost lamb. You only need to cast... Come on over, buddy. <laughs> when it hits the sound stop. Show me I see you. Let me go. Glacius. Descendo. Bam. Your poaching days are over. Revelio. Okay, let's see if there's anything to collect. Don't see anything. Oh, here's a chest. Don't want to lose it, so. One moment. Alright, little buddies. Hello, Hamora. Which one of you is Biscuit? Oh no. Revelio. I should have kept an eye on him. Oh no. 
There you are, biscuit. Let's go ahead and get Glacius over here too. Hey, biscuit went over here. Nope. Rebellion. Oh. Biscuit? Glacius. Get in here. Alright, Biscuit. That was a cute little thing. It's fun. Oh, this is an interesting little area. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Here's one of those oh. tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Let's try this out. Oops. That's not where I want to go. Um, back here. And where is he? Well, let's go back to this quest. This will be the easiest way. Take the biscuit. Okay. Well, we're already tracked. Okay. Um, so let's speed up the day. Come on, let's go back to me. There we go. That's weird. It wouldn't let table. me wait earlier. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Ah, oh, I can't tell if this is sunrise or sunset. Let's go. Look at these. I'm furious? What are they doing him down here? This reminds me of uh, Krillin's destructive disc. Oh, they do be angry. We'll go down there and fight them after this. Come on, night time. Levioso. Just too far. Come on, buddy. Come on, we need not time. Go down here and find these guys or die of boredom. Alright. Should probably get something that has fire or something to it. Um, do we see? Confringo Incendio Descendo Incendio Confringo Levioso Descendo Incendio Confringo Oh, 
Oh yeah. I feel like we handled them pretty well. Ah, oh, it's a level three. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to watch me a guide on getting on the demon guys statues because that is just not my favorite um quest like likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark let's see if we can fly up and see how low the sun the sun is i still got a little ways to go maybe we'll come back maybe by the time i come to this and go back it'll be time sometimes it takes like forever for the time to cycle by it's hard to tell exactly what time of day we're starting in and stuff um with the kind of foggy and distant weather you know oh that's gonna hurt oh that's definitely gonna hurt uh good luck kid okay I wonder if fall damage is even turned on for Hawksmead. I don't think I saw him actually take any damage. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something All right, out. Buddy. Give me enough money I can go buy my thing, please. I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? If it weren't for me, I suspect those poachers would have flayed her alive. Oh, perish the thought. Thank Merlin you were able to save her in time. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit, my wise noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Oh, biscuit and I can't thank you enough. All right. 300 galleons. That's what I needed. Let's go to the tomes and scrolls now. Last big thing we need to get. These other things just don't really matter. Nothing uh, like finding yeah. just the right thing, is there? So now let's go back to the room of actually we may have stuff to sell. Hold on. I should have stayed on this menu. Um headwear. It's level twenty five, but it's still not really any good, so let's go ahead and sell it. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. So, let's go over to our place. Um, remove requirement. Things. You should be proud of all the potions all right. you've brewed. Moonstone, Moonstone, Moonstone. And let's see. A Durish put. A Durus. I could say say. Let's go ahead and take it. Here we go. I don't think we have anything to upgrade right now, but we'll double check. It's that Niffler fur. 
Let's look at this. I do have Thestrals now. I should probably start getting them to do their thing. Um, maybe we'll do that here in a second. Let's go get a good harvest on first. This always takes way less time than the other things, so. Oops. I really need to use some mandrakes up. I don't know why, I just, I'm so intrigued, I guess, by the, uh, finding, you know, using curses and spells and stuff. It just takes my mind. Sorry, Toad. Come back, buddy. I'm sorry. I mean, zap you. Um, Alright, we got everybody, so let's put. I think we may have a fair amount of Mooncalf, so let's put the Elementary oh, inventory. And instead, move our two Thestrals in. Come on, little buddy. We want some goodies so that we can go harvest. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see, what else? Do you have the hippogriff? Um, oops. You. Let's put in our hippogriff and our floopers. like when they're in storage and they have they don't progress on their timers well that's fascinating and slightly evil what the heck at least I think that might be what's going on I could be wrong but I don't I don't think that my flooper would have had that much time on it if it had been progressing in storage all that time like that should have cleared quite a while ago. Oh man. They think of very little way to like make it somewhat annoying, don't they? You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Okay. Here we go. See about traits. We got traits on everything. On oh, this one. What about this one? This sounds pretty cool. Oh, we only have level two. Okay. It takes a deer claw feather. We'll just do this in. This one sounds fun. Hi. 
nice. Okay. So I feel like there is maybe... Oh yeah, the tables, the tables. I need to go arrange the tables down here. I think there are two medium plants. I want to say it's Chinese chomping cabbage and what is it? Shoal fig? I think it is. Let me let me empty the pot. Yep, shoal fig and chomping cabbage. Okay. Okay, let's get our Evanesca out. And do you need to get our shoal fig up anyways? Okay. And then we're gonna conjure up two of the mediums. Here we are. Okay, three medium pots. All right. I had to triple check that. Okay. Let's do a basic setup here for now. Okay. So what have we displaced here? We have flux weed. Flux weed is a pair. Mallow sweet. Mallow sweet. And I think we had. I think I pulled three species. I thought I pulled, let's see, was it fluxweed or these? Not grass. Am I missing fluxweed now? I think I am. No, no, okay. I see you get a Chinese chomping cabbage and um, the uh, shrivel pig, I believe. I still feel like something is missing though. Not grass. Maybe not though. So we have two of these. Mandrake and its component. I think might be the Ditney. Okay. I think it might be okay. Mallow Sweet may be the one that's overrepresented, if anything. Like maybe I should replace one of them. Like a venomous tentacula to be consistent because that'd be three of those plants each. I think that would make the most sense. Maybe we could just take out this one over here in the corner. Um, oh shoot, it's a small planter though. That's why I arranged it that way. So the mallow sweet, yeah, two, three, two, three, yep, a small planter. Okay. So if anything, since we are overrepresented, maybe putting another venomous tentacular over here would be good because we got one, two, three, and that really is a bit of a bummer to uh, only have Mallow Sweet and not three each of each of the attack things. Cause so we got three cabbages, three of the mandrakes, and then we could have three of the tentaculas. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, We'll empty out this planter and we'll put it into Tacker and put some fertilizer on it too. Okay, that makes the planters a little bit different too, unfortunately, but um, there you go for balance and in inventory if I can't have it all. Um, I could move the medium tables over here though. I think that would be balance the force. their barge tables. It's almost a sickly noise that those are making. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Still a little bit of an oddball, but not horrible. And let's see, we could line up the Mallow Suite. Um, if we wanted to, we could just make like a giant U type shape. Let's see, this is probably gonna look pretty horrible, but I still wanna try it. Some stick like that. Um, let's see. See if I can push that up on the wall a little bit. Come on. Okay. These are our mediums. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like it blocking the pathway like that. Um, how about we, what do we have here? The floor. Okay. That's not going to work. Let's bring these in like this. Can we have just enough room to have a here? Uh-huh. Now, can I actually harvest all of them though? Let's see. Nope, not a space. Thought there may have been, but it's not quite enough. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. I could take something like this. We'll take, take it like this and See, this is our other medium here. And then is a... No, this isn't necessarily floor space optimal or great feng shui, but we could just put it like that. And here we go. It's gonna be an interesting aesthetic for a little while, I think. See, I think that's about as close as I can get it. Looks like they might be roughly squared up. Alright, so anyways, um, I can just run through and harvest, 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 both sides, and then just gonna do the same thing over there. So, quite a few things still need to grow, but that's gonna be how it will be when the time comes. Mediums get to stay together at least. So, I don't know, I think it's gonna work out nicely. How are we doing on spells or potions? Looks like we got all of our tools. So we're looking like we're in a pretty firm position for when we stream next time. Um, let me look at our quest because I'm just curious what we have on the board at the moment. We've got the high keep, shadow of the bloodline, the keys, and the man behind the moons. So there's a, there's a little bit left, you know. Um, Looks like there might be a side quest here. What is this? Ah, okay. Anything else in the Hogwarts area? I don't think that there are. Let's go to the world map. Just curious, I wanna check for we call it a stream. Do do do. Wow, um, I thought I saw something. Let me go back to Hogwarts map. Yeah, yeah, it shows there's something on the world map. It's not on Hogsmeade. Maybe I've been playing too long. My eyes are starting to get crossed. Ah, here we go. What do we have? Thief in the night, the vendor in Irondale need seems to be upset about something. I should introduce myself to see what the matter is. And then that invasive maneuver. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Okay, well we got a couple options for next time, so 
let's go ahead and roll credits and say thank you for watching it's been s tier rank you can follow me on mastodon twitch and youtube i'll have an upload on youtube soon thanks have a good day